Hey howdy hey partners, I'm super excited because today I'm going to show you how to make a removable Buzz Lightyear helmet. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. Well for a while now I've wanted to do a mod on this Buzz. Uh, it's my Ranger Customs Buzz Lightyear. He looks straight out of Toy Story 3. But I thought a cool, fun concept would be to do with this one. Is yes, I did enjoy the open helmet mod. Here is the plastic piece that I can just kind of, kind of rest behind Buzz there. And you can just see that was very simple to do. It gives the illusion that Buzz retracted the helmet completely. But you still have a little thin piece of plastic there showing which is movie accurate to Buzz walking around in the movie. You can see a little piece of the helmet like that behind his head. And what is cool is that it's removable. So I thought if I can do that and replace that with the dome so it looks like it's fully retracted, I thought why not take a helmet off of a signature or a collection Buzz Lightyear to do that mod for this Buzz. I removed the helmet from this Cloud Pattern Buzz. I, this is my extra Cloud Buzz. I do have another one that I'm not gonna touch. So I had an extra one, so I thought, why not take it off of this Buzz? Now, if you want to learn how to remove the helmet off of a collection Buzz Lightyear, click the card here in the corner of your screen, and that'll take you to the tutorial video I made a while ago to show you how I removed the helmet. So I already did the work here and removed that. So we don't need this cloud buzz anymore. And now we're gonna focus on how do we make a dome for this movie accurate buzz that we can put on and take off. So it gives that illusion that, you know, he has the helmet closed and then the helmet open. In order to do that, you know, I didn't want to use any crazy saws or anything like that. So I thought, why not use my trusty Husky Gator Grips, I call them. Uh, they're really cool. And basically, you can clamp them on and break off these little pieces. Now on the back piece here, we have these little extra pieces that hook into Buzz. But since mine's going to be removable on and off, I don't want them to be in the way. Uh, when I rest it on Buzz and take it off because otherwise it gives it a weird lift if you don't hook it in. So what I did is I got these Gator Grips and very carefully broke these pieces off uh, very nicely. And I already did one there, so I will show you how I do it on camera now. Basically you want to clamp it around here and then I press down really hard and then now that it's clamped on there, I'm going to very gently move this back and forth. And when you do that, there you go you are able to take off plastic very easily and without any crazy worry that you're going to damage your helmet. I'm going to open it and see there's the plastic piece. And if we inspect it now, you can see there's still another little piece there that I kind of want to break off a little bit more like I did here. That piece that's going to be removed uh, about there. Clamp it really well. And very carefully, you're going to go up and down again and keep doing that until you remove the plastic pieces off. Here we go again. I'm gonna attempt this once more and see if I can get it on this try. Sometimes it doesn't get it on the first try. So just be patient. Go slowly, like I said, and eventually you should be able to twist the plastic. You see how it's separating like that. You see I was able to take that off. So I'm gonna continue that for this part here. There we go. You're going to be left with some ridges here that are not perfect, but it's good enough for me as long as it's pretty straight for the most part. Now you don't have those crazy pieces sticking out that are going to make it kind of weird when you rest it on Buzz. This part here also has to be removed because when I tried resting it on Buzz, because it's no longer anchored inside of him, it's kind of poking out and it makes his helmet look too big on him. So to avoid that, we're going to have to make this a little bit shorter. To do this, it's very simple, just like we were doing on all the other ones. Kind of get it around there, clamp it, and just hold on to it very gently and just go very slow back and forth here on this uh, gator grip and back and forth to get it loose. And then there we go, it'll break right off. And that looks good to me. Now that we have our two pieces here that have been modified, uh, you can just see how it's kind of rests flush there on the table. Otherwise, it'd be kind of weird sticking up with those tabs. Same with this. that bubble thing that attaches to Buzz would be not allowing it to rest like this. So what we want to do to combine two pieces into one is we want to put some glue zots. Uh, I call them glue zots and basically I'm going to join them like about there and so it'll be one piece to put on and off of Buzz. Some people would recommend just get a very clear glue gel and yes that would be more permanent solution. But in case I want to not go permanent 
I feel like this is a good trial and if I do like it I will get the proper glue but for now I'm gonna get these Zots because they're basically clear stickers and so if I want to I can take them off without any issues and they are clear but it, I'm just gonna try this for now as an experiment to make sure it works the way this works I'm gonna get these little clear glue Zots and I'm gonna stick it on here as you can see and then peel it off and because it's like a sticker it's so easy to reverse this so if you ever change your mind or you want to use the helmet again or do something else with it it's not permanent and you see how it's clear and then join the helmets together and that'll give me that look of its one piece so I just need to stick it together and get that to stick after playing with it for a while I was able to get it how I wanted it and just line it up there and there you go you have a dome on buzz now it's not perfect and there is parts here that i wish were a little bit closed better on the gaps i only ended up putting one here one on the top and one on the side just to make it a little bit more easier to manipulate buzz's helmet and it looks really good not maybe so much from the sides but the back and the front look really good to me so i think that's pretty cool and successful plus i really wanted to have that fun option of what it would be like to have a removable dome for Buzz as a one-piece dome removal and if you want it back on all you do is just put it right back on like that one piece you don't have to worry about anything else and I think it looks really good and it achieves the look of what I wanted for my movie accurate Buzz to have that option to display him with a full helmet which is pretty fun looks movie accurate to me it's really fun and easy to do take off the dome and if I want to add my Ranger Customs little helmet shield here, I can also put that here to give the illusion that Buzz has it fully retracted and it looks open now with a little bit of plastic there on the back hanging like we saw in the movies. So I'm super excited for this mod. I think it was simple but effective and I really loved how it turned out. For fun, let's do some editing magic. Let's get that dome here on buzz my custom dome now that I have and we're gonna pretend that you can fully retract his helmet let's test that out well partners let me know in the comment section below what do you think of my Buzz Lightyear custom mod with removable dome helmet I think it's super fun it's something that's a cool option to have which you would have gotten from Thinkway Toys but because they're not making Toy Story toys anymore I could just make my own as always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, see you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're a, now you're an accent faker. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. Are a child plaything! Hey, Ham! Look, I'm Picasso! I don't get it. <laughs>